see exactly what he did. I see exactly what he did. They keep saying I keep playing a game about being an informant. Look what they did here to get TSI, who been pretending to be who were actually United States Federal Marshals. I was put on the fifth floor. First off, I was room 750 on this floor. First, when I first got it, I was put on the ninth floor. But number one, what was that? right? Then they transferred me down here. What is this? Oh, look at that. Then they transferred me down here to, uh, it's just a little glare, to the seventh floor, seven, room 750. Then they claimed, Lauren claimed, there was a COVID-19 breakout in this floor. Then they changed me to room 409, where the Italian nurse said, you're schizophrenic, baby. You haven't been seeing your psychiatrist lately. Uh, you haven't been seeing your psychiatrist. Therefore, and I was like, who's my psychiatrist? And she couldn't answer the question to change up. So then they brought me back upstairs. Right, to um, the fifth floor, right? This way gets interesting. That's why she's gone now. The Chinese doctor, Lee, the resident doctor, I was telling him about Dr. Warman at Queens Hospital Center, how he gave me the cure for everything I'm going through. Kidney failure, the, the, uh, the coughing up the blood, they got the, they got the cure now. Queens Hospital Center. He never told me the name of it. So she had me sign this document to release records. That wasn't to release records. That document because it was blank. That was to agree to let these people be my legal guardian, the nonprofit I got now. That's what they did. And what they do is they they forced it through on the eighth of our August, that was my signature. That's how they became, right? And they're gonna say is, I have memory issues. Since Christopher Scarallo had did this, when I hired uh, Johnson Rosenberg, or Dr. Bardet, they've been always trying to say I have memory issues, that I don't remember things. They've been doing that heavily lately. You don't remember you did this? My, even my own cousin Lorenz took my, you don't remember you, I'd be like, what the hell? You? Even my own cousin Kimberly, acting like I've lost my memory, right? So then Lee left. Never, she said they take it. They said it takes a week to get the medical records when you when you sign and authorize. That's why they never gotten back to me to this very day. In regards to the name of the medication that a woman gave me, that was to give these people. To make whoever my um, guardianship is, that's how they use that signature. But they want to play this game that the psychiatric downside to it is I have memory issues. I don't remember it. I was wondering. So then a male Chinese doctor came in like two weeks ago to sign for a blood transfusion. He did the same thing. Sign your name here. That thing was blank too. It was blank. You understand? And they, they've been doing this shit lately. And now they have, I don't know, you know they're playing around. And, and they have these signatures. Uh, but she's trying to hide that one signature from, because nobody gotten back to me in regards to the medication that Warman gave me. Because the federal marshals don't need the story to come out how they've been hiding me since you all as a uh, a member of law enforcement, a bait, you know, to, to suck up people in, to come and hang out with me, to get to get set up, to be locked up. This shit is crazy. So that court case, uh, making them people my guardianship that I allegedly signed for, didn't even realize it, because because if it, well, if I die. With this poor kidney thing, they're going to come up with that paperwork saying, look, he even agreed with us. 
just what I'm talking about. And Brandy set the whole thing up. And Emily coordinated this stitch with Rob Zeppelin, the fucking attorney from Creedmoor, who didn't represent me the right way. That's it. If I die, which I almost did two weeks ago, over two weeks ago, coughing up the blood, which I believe they gave me something to induce that cough. I don't know. I've been stuck here for three months, and they won't let me go under no circumstances. I got to eat their food. I got to take everything they give me. You understand? And that's how far they're going to, to silence me about the, how I'm being used by the United States Federal Marshals by TSI. 